E. A. D sharp. What's going on, guys? How you doing out there? Uh, I got a question from someone. They asked me, what was my turning point where I knew that I was just comfortable playing scales up and down the fretboard? So the answer was very simple. When I started learning exercises that involved me playing a scale on one string, that's my turning point. I started playing that and really relying on my ear versus knowing the notes that was coming up next. So I really started trying to figure out the notes of the scale on one string, and that really challenged me. And even the next string, so say if I have an, a next open string so say for instance a I'm playing the E major scale so all the notes in the E major scale right here so the next string that I have is an A I want to utilize that so let's play the A which would be the the fourth note so now I'm playing like a Lydian scale on the A string so I would kind of you know map it out and try to figure out my way but using using my ear to where I knew I wouldn't mess up. It's, but still keeping that E major tone in my head. So I had to keep that same tonality of the E major scale in my head while playing all of these notes. So I wanted to challenge myself. So, okay, let's play, let's use the next string, the D. But do I have a D in the E major scale? I have a D in the E mixolydian scale, but I don't have a natural D in the E major scale. So I have to figure out the notes inside of the scale in order to even do this exercise. So that's what kind of challenged me as well. So I had to use the E. I know there's an A in the E major, and then there's a D sharp in the major E major scale. Okay, so. So I wanted to play each line all the way up the fretboard, at least one octave. There's the E major scale on the E string. Here's the E major scale on the A string. Here's the E major scale on the D string. And there's the E major scale utilizing the G string, but now we come up with another conflict. We don't have an open G or a G in general in the E major scale. So we have to go with the next closest thing, G sharp, okay? So we have to use the same way. So now it's like we're playing a Phrygian scale on the G string. So those are all of those elements of all of those scales on each string. Okay, so for the E, we have an Ionian scale. Let's just think of, like, think of it like that. On the A string, we have a Lydian scale. My position was wrong with that one, but you get the idea. Then we have a D sharp. What note was that of the E major scale? The seventh note. So we're going to use the seventh scale or seventh mode, Locrian mode. So using that mode and kind of hearing it at the same time, knowing exactly what we have to play. And then next we have the G sharp, which is our Phrygian. So that was a way for me to challenge myself. And what I would do is I would change the key and do that every single time with the E string, A string, D string, and G string. When I played a five string, I would do the same exact thing. I would use a low B string and try to utilize the same concept or the same exercise, trying to play one scale on every single string, utilizing that string. So now I knew where my notes were. All I had to do was just get my positioning right. All together, I wanna to play this entire scale or entire exercise all together. Okay, here we go. E. A. D sharp.
you get the idea. Okay, so that was the whole entire thing. And then what you want to do is really flip that as well. But you have to start somewhere. So you want to flip it, go backwards, always descend and always say what goes up must come down. Flip that, go backwards. So for the sake of time, you get the idea. I won't go backwards right now. Uh, but still, that'll get you comfortable and challenge you. You know, not just, okay, I, I learned it up. Okay, now what else do I do? Take it back down. have to be able to uh, be comfortable with not just hearing it but with it but playing it at the same time and then the major scale so there it is guys one scale four strings and I guarantee you that this will help you learn your fretboard just a little bit better or become comfortable with your fretboard just a little bit better so utilize this exercise change the key do F major do C major do A major do whatever minor E minor F sharp minor doesn't matter Try all of these scales with this technique, learning them up and down the fretboard. That'll help you, hopefully. So check it out, if you guys are new here or if you're not new here and you just haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also the notification bell icon, hit that little bell. I hate missing notifications to channels that I'm subscribed to. So you wanna hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss anything that I upload. And on top of that, if you like what you see and you get down with me, hit that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. it means the world to me that you guys are here spending your time learning and just jamming out with me. Peace.